So we are back to our constating method what lectures are good. Because we are dealing with business finance. Now we are back to what quantitative method, which is basically a level 200 second semester course. Okay. We have already created demand and supply analysis. It's my previous videos, I do some solving questions based on that. I go. So when we are done, then we move to what? Revenue cost and what's profit. Now, for the demand and supply analysis, that's the first question we are going to solve. The demand of Albert, Benes and Caleb for rice in Manina district market is represented by the function. That's the function for Albert, function for Benes, function for Caleb. The industry supply is given us. KOA is called 40 plus 3.5 P. Okay. I. Determine the market equilibrium and price. I. I. Determine quantities purchased by Albert, Benes and Caleb. Okay. The understanding we all have is when we are being asked to find for market equilibrium or equilibrium price and quantity, the first thing we do is to equate QD is equal to what? QS. Okay. Now, let's come back to the question. Let's check if you have QD. Then let's also check if you have what? QS. Now, for this side, there is no QD, but there are previous, sorry, there are various what? Quantities. I got QA, QD, and QC. Let's check if you have QS. Yes. You have quantity of supply. Okay. So now, how then do we find a minimum price and quantity? We know the understanding is we are going to equate QD to QS. So let's check. We already have quantity supply. We don't have quantity demand. So we are supposed to find what quantity demand first. Before you will be able to equate it to what KOS, then we get what? The minimum price and quantity. So let's start. So we'll pick the function for our bet first. So we'll solution. Our bet. Albert was given P is called state 5 minus 0 0.5 QA. So the, what we do is we are going to make the quantities for various individuals, which are what? Albert, Benis, and Caleb. We are going to make the quantities for them what? Constant, I go. So what we do is the 0 0.5 QA here, we send it to the left hand side, becoming what's positive. So we have 0 0.5 QA is equal to. 35. Now, positive when it comes to what? Negative. Okay. So now we want QA. So we divide both sides by the coefficient of what? A. So we have this 0 0.5. This side is 0 0.5. So we it. So we have QA. Sorry. It's QA. QA is equal to 35 divided by 0 0.5. We have 70 here. Whenever there is a variable standing alone, there is one, but we don't write one. P I go. So one divide one divided by 0 0.5. We have two. So we have two P. Don't forget to bring the P I go. So there's the quantity, the actual quantity function for what Albert, but not the cycle. We are making all the quantities for Albert, Dennis, and Calibot stand and when we are done, there is some all together to get what the actual quantity demand. So we have Albert to be this. Let me let me try and squeeze them the Albert. So we move on to Venice. So this is Venice. Venice P is equal to 50 minus 0 0.25 QD. Now we have the same idea. So we move this 0 0.25 B 50 minus p so 0 0.25 b all over 0 0.25 50 0 0.25 minus p 0 0.25 move it out sorry i forgot let's kill me not b so we have q b is equal to 50 divided by 0 0.25 we have 200 1 1 divided by 0 0.25 i hope you guys are following 1 divided by 0 0.25, we have 4 P. So this is the actual quantity function for what? Benz, but not the cycle. Okay, so we move on to what's color. So we have color. We have P is equal to 40 minus 2.0 QC. The same I remove it here. We have 2.0 
QC, we are 40 minus B. We are making QC the subject. If I make QC the subject, we divide both sides by the coefficient of QC. So we have this. We move this out. We have QC is equal to 40 divided by 2.0. We have 20 here minus 1 divided by 2.0. We have half, which is 0.15. So now we have the actual quantity for hours. We also have the actual quantity for minutes. We have the actual quantity for color. So how then do we get what the quantity demand we actually need to equate it to the QS to get what the equilibrium price and quantity? So what we do is we are going to sum quantity, the actual quantity for what hours, which is this. The actual quantity for minutes, which is this. The actual quantity for what? Call it, then we get what the quantity demand. So to get the quantity demand, we have the so quantity demand. So we have QD. It's equal to we have what is it? A. So 70 minus 2D plus 200 minus 4p plus 20 minus 0 0.5p now we have qd here let's put them together we have 70 plus 200 plus 20 okay minus 2p minus 4p minus 0 0.5p so we have qd is equal to 70 plus 200 plus 20 we are getting 290 here now, minus 2, minus 4, minus 0, so minus 2, minus 4, minus 0 0.5. Minus 2, minus 4, minus 0 0.5. I get it, minus 6.5b. So this becomes our actual quantity demand, which is the overall quantity demand that we are being expected to equate to what? The quantity supply. So this is what we were supposed to have been given in the question, but not this one, so I know. So now we have the quantity demand. The next thing is we just equate this to the quantity supply that was given to us in the question before we will be able to solve for what they are. That's all the understanding. Are you good? So now that's what we need. So let me clean the side. So I'm rewriting this here. We have you need to be 290 minus 6.5 p. Okay, now we are giving quantity supply as this. QS is equal to 40 plus 3.5 p. Now we are starting with the i. Equilibrium price and quantity. The understanding is to find equilibrium price and quantity, we equate QB equals what? QS. So QD we have this 290 minus 6.5p is equal to 40 plus 3.5p. Now we are looking for price, so we look like this. So we have 290 and we maintain this. We have 40, when you say it becomes minus 40, we have 3.5p here. We have negative 6.5p, when it becomes positive 6.5p. Now 290 minus 40, what are we getting? 250. Let me write it here. 250. Now 3.5 plus 6.5, what are we getting? We are getting 10p. Now let's make p a subject. So we want to make p a subject. We will write that we have 250 is equal to 10p. We divide both sides by the coefficient of p. Of p. So we have 250, 10p, 10. We have the size of 10. We have P is equal to. 
and 250 divided by 10. What are we getting? 25. So price is 25. So the equilibrium price. So now we have our equilibrium price towards 25 cents. Right? How then do we get our equilibrium price? What we do is we mostly put the price into what the quantity supply function where there is idle. But for you to be able to know that what you are doing is actually correct, you are going to put the price into either what the quantity demand and the quantity supply function. If both are giving us the same answer, they mean that what we've done is what's correct, idle. So now we have a given quantity. Sorry, a given yeah, quantity. Which is AQ. So now we have QD 290 minus 6.5P. We have QOS2 to be 40 plus 3.5P. Now let's start with QD first. When P is equal to 25, so we have QD 290 minus 6.5. We have 25. So QD is called 290 minus 6.5 times 25. We are getting 162.5. Now, QD is called 290 minus 162.5. Who are we getting? 127.5 units. Let's try a QOS2. When P is equal to 25, QOS is 40 plus. 3.5 times 25. So now we have 40 here. 3.5 times 25. What are we getting? 87.5. Now, KOS is equal to 40 plus 87.5. What are we getting? 127.5. So if you really go through this, you will see that the QD and the KOS is giving us what? The same quantity, so meaning that was our price was correct. That's the main understanding. Don't just always use the KOS and just move straight forward. I do. First, try with both the QD and the KOS. If you are getting the same, then what you are doing is what's correct. I do. So the next thing is, we move on to the I. I the I states that determine quantities purchased by Albert, Venus, and what? Caleb. I do. Take note, our price is what? 25 cents. Price 25 cents. I, I, I. Determine quantities purchased by Albert, Billis, and Cali. So, quantity.
So QB is what? 200 minus 4 times 25. What will get 100? So QB is equal to 200 minus 100. What will get 100? So this is the actual one that is going to be purchased by Benes Igo. So we move on to the second one, which is what? Caleb. So we have Caleb. What is Caleb's function? B is equal to 40 minus 2 point 0 QC. So we make this a subject. We have 2.0 QC is equal to 40 minus P. We are going to make QC the same, so we divide both sides by the coefficient of QC. So we have this 2.0, 2.0, 2 So we have QC is equal to 40 divided by 2.0. We have 20 here, minus 1 divided by 2.0. We have 0.5 P. Now, the equilibrium price was what? 25 cents. So we QC. 20 minus 0.5. 25. So 0.5 times 25. What are we get? 12.5. We have this. So QC is 40. 20 minus 12.5. We have this. 7.5 units. So this is the number of units going to be purchased by Caleb. Right? So we are left with the last individual, which is Albert. So now, Albert. By Albert. So Albert's function, we have B is equal to 35. 0.5 Q. We make this a subject. So we have 0.5 Q. It's equal to 35 minus P. So we have 0.5 Q. What are we looking for? Q. So we make what? Q is a subject. So we divide both sides by the coefficient of Q. 0.5. 0.5. We have Q. It's equal to. 35 divided by 0 0.5. Who are we getting? 70. We have 70 here. 1 divided by 0 0.5. We have 2 P. I go. Now, we have, we've already found for what our price. The equilibrium for the other 25. So when P is equal to 25, we have Q. 70 minus 2. 25. So 70 minus 2. And 25, what are we getting? 50. So QP is equal to 70 minus 50. We are getting 20 units. So this is the actual quantity that's going to be purchased by Albert Igo. So now, what we are going to do next is we are going to get a question which comprises of consumer surplus, producer surplus, agency of tax, economic, sorry, wealth of economic agents, Igo. So we are going to solve a full question on that in what our next video I do. Then we say goodbye to command and supply.